All right. So now I'd like to get into the WTF Ferrari segment of this podcast. Um, yeah. I, you know, it's getting harder and harder every day to be the Ferrari fan on this podcast. I'm, I'm just so gonna, sorry for you. I'm just going to say it. So Ferrari came out with a new title sponsor, which is HP, HP Printers. So now they're going to be known as Scuderia Ferrari HP, which sounds so mm. dumb. When I thought we couldn't get worse than V-Carb, Ferrari right? said, hold my beer, I will do this. Um, so yeah, now there's Scuderia Ferrari HP, SFHP, if you will. Sounds like a freaking sunscreen. Jesus Right? Christ. But the um, worst part. Yeah, what's the... Just hit me with it, Catherine. There's literally like 800 HP logos plastered all over this car. And it's kind of ridiculous. And and this isn't even going into the part where we talk and we are going to talk plenty about the Ferrari goes blue livery. Um, but it's like... We understand that HP is is the title sponsor and that they should have, you know, prime real estate. But do they need to have prime real estate on the front wing, the rear wing, the suspension, the wheels, the the back of the car, the diffuser, the front of the car, uh, the the body of the car, the everything of the car? Like they they do, they you don't need that many HP logos. For those of you not watching on YouTube, I'm aggressively shaking my head. It is so ridiculous. <laughs> I've talked about this. A million and one times until I'm actually blue, Ferrari. A million people have to sign off on this. This goes through so yeah. many different level layers of approval. How does this shit happen? I don't understand. I honestly think someone just went rogue and was like, oh, here, let's do this. Or like this was their first draft and no one thought to double check. And it was approved and sent, and this is what's happening. And they were too, they were in too deep, and they couldn't change it. It is god awful, god awful. I hate it. I yeah. Can't. Which brings us to the Ferrari goes blue. So when I heard that yes. Ferrari was going blue, and they were like teasing this, I'm like, oh, we are gonna smurf out. We are going full blue. What a change up! This is gonna be so awesome. Like HP's the new sponsor. Throw the blue in there. Go blue car great you know sponsorship placement and they did the absolute minimum with the absolute worst again who is approving this shit it is so bad there's like two different color blues that don't even mesh well together the wing completely doesn't tie into the rest of the car it is so bad it's embarrassing and painful and cringeworthy when i saw it i just wanted to oh it's so bad it's so bad yeah. So I'm going to provide a little bit of context while also saying, thanks, I hate it. Um, and it just, it looks like they, they should have gone all in. Like, wh why were they cowards? Give us the, Smurf give out. us the blue Ferrari. I wanted a um, full blue Ferrari. Yeah. So this blueness that we're seeing is because this is the 70th anniversary of Ferrari's presence in the North America. Uh, whatever. Um, they str So I, I did a little of, of, of uh, Google sleuthing on this, and apparently they started the last two races of the 1964 season with this U.S.-inspired blue and white livery um, to end the season. There was also some drama between Enzo Ferrari and the FIA and Italy's national sport body, where basically Enzo got so pissed and said that Ferrari would never represent it to Italy's colors again, um, which clearly did not last um but you have two shades there's the light blue shade which is um to recognize argentina's national racing colors um specifically worn by alberto ascari former you know world champion um and then the dark blue which was worn by um a, as a bunch of different um race suits by a bunch of uh, different for, um ferrari drivers including nikki lauda um so that's why you have two different colors of red on this car or blue on this car but it's still a red ferrari with a bunch of stupid little splotches honestly it looks like the, they were just painting the car and they're like oh we ran out of red paint oh well we have some of this blue and some of this blue let's just slap it on and make it work like it's so bad i understand the sentiment much <laughs> like the three different cars one livery you know tribute last year that mclaren did understand right. the sentiment 
It's fallen short. Don't love it. Do a full blue one. Do the dark blue with light blue highlights where the yellow is on the current car. Like, how freaking cool would that look for an all blue Ferrari? But no. Yeah, I mean, we've seen plenty of of renders of what this car could and should have been um, that would have been really cool all over social media. If you open up Instagram, there's going to be the what you wanted versus what you got meme. Um, But the other issue that I took with this is they took their sweet, they took like a week of teasing this stupid car and that's all we got. I know they were teasing it and I was like, oh yeah, this is going to be good. And yeah, it was, it's like when people drop news, like, oh, something's coming in six months. It's like, cool. Like that sucks. It's such a letdown. And they teased it for so long and they gave us absolutely nothing. It's just so disappointing. And to go on top of the disappointment, they released the helmets for Carlos and Charles. I swear someone at Ferrari is the fun police and will not let them do any cool helmets because it's their exact red helmet just in freaking blue. It's so dumb. Yeah. Like, let them do something fun. Which, to be fair, they've had fun helmets in the past. Obviously, Charles's Miami helmet, I don't think it was last season, but the season before was the, was the football, football turf helmet. Yeah. So cool. Um, but yeah, so Charles's helmet is light blue for Ascari. Carlos's, the, the dark blue for for the, the race suits. It, you know, I get it. It's in theme. It's boring as hell. Um, and also, everybody is comparing the, um, the car... Um, livery release to what Alpine did when Alpine was teasing yeah. theirs before we were really disappointed by Alpine. Um, and so that was, so it, it, it's giving the Alpine camo incident, but yeah, it's there. I'm not impressed by, by anything that they've really come out with. I think that the coveralls that the, that Charles and Carlos are going to be wearing, make them look like gas station mechanics okay, um, no, and no, no, really no. not in a good way. No, I would say only the one picture with Charles and like the uh the button up, the short sleeve button up. Oh yeah, that he was looks real like, bad. He looks like he works at the Shell gas station around the corner. It is so bad. And now he's like growing out weird facial hair and it's super creepy and pedo-y. And it's like, yeah, you belong at the shell around the corner smoking a cigarette. Like maybe put you in a dad bod and that is what you are. And it's so bad. I don't hate the race suits, though. At least they went all out. At least it's not a red race suit with like, a stripe of blue. I appreciate the commitment to the blue there. I do. So those yeah, which they've, the they've done that plenty in, in right. the, the race suits. Like the yellow race suits. Great. They or, look I mean, like the, they the were at McDonald's. Were... <laughs> but they were fine. Yeah. They committed. Yeah. They went for I it. I just, everything about this has just been such a disappointment like just and it it feels like everything is um I'm gonna go a little bit off track here for a second but one of my favorite television shows is this show called Fringe and Fringe um is a sci-fi show that came out in 2008 that spoiler alert deals with alternate universes and at one point you have the red verse and you have the blue verse and the red verse is basically the blue logos with like a red paint overlay. And I really feel like that's what they did with like, they just did a blue paint overlay over everything red and like a blue filter overlay over everything red in their social media graphics. And I'm just sitting here like, why does this just look so half-assed? It's so bad. I'm so disappointed. So disappointed. (sighs) All right, I think we can end our WTF Ferrari moment. 